Hi, welcome to the I'm Ready Test Kitchen. I'm Lauren, and today I'm going to show you how to make some mummy cakesicles. It's a super fun recipe, very festive for Halloween, and extra delicious. So the first thing we're going to do to make this recipe is you can make a cake from scratch, or what I'm going to do is just make a box cake, uh, just regular vanilla box cake, and I'm going to follow the directions um, that was on the box. So all we need to do for this is oil, water, and three eggs. And I have added my own touch onto this. I'll also be putting in our red raspberry seedless compound to give our cakesicles a raspberry flavor and have them a little bit of a red interior. So it's spooky for Halloween. So let's add in the eggs here. And then I'm going to just add in our compound. So I'm just using two tablespoons. In our raspberry compound, it is seedless, but it is still packed with a ton of the real fruit. Um, raspberry is actually the first ingredient on here, so that way you know it is like very, very, very bursting with raspberry flavor. Right, two. I'm just gonna mix it up and we'll pop this into the oven. All right, so we're all mixed up. I'm just going to put this into our cake pan here and pop it into the oven for about 25 minutes. All right, so our cake is done. Um, I let it cool, I took it out of the pan, and now it is time for the really fun and a little bit messy part. We're gonna take our cake, we're gonna crumble it in our bowl, and then we are going to add some buttercream frosting and just combine it really well. You'll probably need about a cup and a half of buttercream. You can use fresh homemade, or you can use some icing from the store. I made this yesterday, super simple, just basic American buttercream recipe, and I flavored it with some of our vanilla artisan. So, Let's get a little messy. And the cake turned out beautiful. Oh my gosh, when it was baking, the whole kitchen smelled like a fresh raspberry. It smells so good. So I'm really excited to bite into one of these cake pops when they're done. And the color turned out really nice. It's just a very light hue of pink, but I think it's very, very pretty. And it screams, hey, I taste like raspberries. So our cake is now fully crumbled and it is time to add in our buttercream. I'm going to just gradually add it in until um, I feel like the cake is a little bit more moist from the buttercream and it can easily form a ball. So usually it's about like a cup and a half. So I'm just gonna grab it with my hands because like I said, this is a messy, messy recipe. And that is why you'll wanna wear gloves. Hopefully you aren't as messy as I am. I feel like it's in my blood. Anytime I'm baking something that is remotely uh, risky to make like this, uh, the kitchen just turns into a big disaster, but it tastes delicious, so it's worth it, right? A little bit more icing and that should be enough. So it is now time to construct our cakesicles. Uh, what you'll need is white chocolate, I've already melted my white chocolate and I've added some vegetable shortening to it. So it'll be like the consistency that I want. You want it to be thin um, and easy to spread. Sometimes when you just melt chocolate, it's a little bit thicker. It's harder to work with. So it just makes it much easier to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all of our um, molds with some white chocolate, brush it up the sides, and then we will put this in the freezer for about five minutes until it hardens. So 
So you just wanna gently brush it up the side so you coat that so our cakesicle is encased in this shell. So we're back, we had these in the freezer for about 10 minutes or so, the chocolate is hardened. So our next step is to fill them with our cake pop filling here that we made earlier and then top them off with some more chocolate back in the freezer for a little bit longer. And then we get to decorate them as mummies with these super adorable little googly eye um, candy pieces. So let's get to filling them. So you wanna just take a little bit, you don't want to fill this right to the edge of the mold because you want to have like a little pocket for the chocolate to lay. And be careful as you press this in because you can crack the shell pretty easily. And the cake we have here is probably going to be way too much to fill all of these. So you can save it and make more after you're done with this mold. You can turn them into regular cake pops. You can turn them into just um, cake truffles where you just make the cake pop basically without the stick and cover it in chocolate. Any option is very delicious. So our molds are all full with our cake now. I'm going to also insert the cake pop stick. You can get some that are a little bit thicker than this on Amazon. This is what I had on hand because I made these so much. I accidentally used up all of my smaller cake pop sticks, but these work just as well. So you would just insert it through the hole in the mold and just make sure you press the filling down on top of it. So all of our sticks have been inserted into our cake pops. Now we're just going to coat the top of this with chocolate and pop it in the freezer. And you don't need much, just a relatively thin layer. Our cake pops here are, well, cakes of coals are covered and I'm gonna put them in the freezer for a little bit and then next we get to decorate them. So I have removed our cakes of coals from the freezer. Uh, it only took about five minutes for that last layer to freeze. It's perfectly hardened. And now we're gonna turn these regular cakes of coals into mummy cakes of coals. Super fun. I melted a little bit more chocolate for the mummy's wrappings and we're gonna add some little googly eyes on there. Why, you know, why not? It's super cute. These are just like little hard candies you can get on Amazon or maybe at like a specialty food store. So let's uh, get to drizzling. I'm just gonna use a fork and scoop a little bit of chocolate up. And we're gonna very carefully start on this side. Just drizzle over. No rhyme or reason, some of them might be a little messier than others, but they really all look like mummies when you're done. Then quickly take the eyeballs and place it on top of some of the wet chocolate. There you have it, a mummy cakesicle. So let's finish these off. So there you have it. I just made the spookiest mummy cakesicles you've ever seen. They're really, really easy to make, uh, really delicious as well. These are perfect for any kind of Halloween parties if you wanna pass them out as uh, party favors or gifts around the workplace. Just something really fun to celebrate this season. We all love Halloween and now it's the year to kind of like get back into celebrating. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new recipes. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. You can find us as at Amoretti on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. See you next time.